Momming Daily. I'm Jacqueline, nice to meet you. This is gonna be an Aldi haul slash Costco haul. Uh, we spent about $45 at Costco and we spent $178 at Aldi, I believe. I believe that's the number. Um, excuse the wet hair and the sweat. It feels like Satan sat his ass crack on Texas today. And it's not even as hot as it has been, but it just, it's sucking butt right now. It's hot. So um, let's get on with it because I'm hot. I want to get the stuff put away and I want to sit down. Honesty is the best policy. Like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Okay, we are going to start with Costco first. So this 24 pack of Vita Rains was $9.99. Um, so way better than Gatorade because I can get Gatorade at Aldi um, $5 for eight of them. So obviously 10 bucks for 16 versus 10 bucks for 24. This is a way better deal. And it broke open so we have extras floating around right now and I'm hoping that those don't fall. Um, and then I got 40 pack of Kirkland bottled waters for $2.99. And this big old thing of 30 rolls of uh, toilet paper is $16.99. So that lasts a while in my house. And then if we come over here, uh, we got Colby Jack cheese, two pounds for $4.99, and sharp cheddar cheese, two pounds for $4.99, which is a way better deal than all these pre-shredded cheese. So that's what we got at Costco. Okay, so we're gonna start over here with the cold things because I need to get the cold things put away. They've been out for far too long. So we got some regular vitamin D milk. I actually have Two of these, the other one fell out of the car, busted, and I was able to save half of it, so it's sitting upside down in my sink right now until I decide what to do with it. Um, so a gallon of milk was 148 this week. I got three things of sour cream to go with our dinner menu, casserole thingies. Um, so if I don't use it all, I will pop this in the freezer. Um, and it'll be just fine to cook with. It doesn't keep the same consistency as if you just put it in the fridge to like put it on top of tacos and stuff. But if um, you freeze it, it, you can still use it in like regular recipes. Uh, so we got two things of whipped topping because I have a bunch of pudding and I got pie crust so we can make pies. Um, the kids picked out uh, mint and chip and chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream. Uh, this was like a dollar ninety something. These were seventy five cents, sixty nine cents. Um, they got the variety pack of donuts, a dollar eighty nine. Each one of these yogurts is twenty nine cents. Um, I got two beef smoked sausages for I think two dollars and twenty cents. These two orange juices were a dollar ninety nine. Bacon was a little over three dollars. This ground beef is a five pound um, package and this was a little over $12, but this is the leaner one. The other one that they have was $10. And I don't know where that leaf came from. Um, I got two package of chicken thighs at $1.69 a pound. I got a package of chicken breast for $1.89 a pound. Eggs are 69 cents and we are limited to three dozen from Aldi, so that's what we get. These are for a pizza casserole from the large family table. If you don't watch Jay Morrell's um, channel, look up the large family table and she does a bunch of like freezer cooking meals and everything. So we use those on occasion. Um, and instead of doing like four pans, we'll do one. Uh, until I get my deep freezer and then I'm gonna be right on the bandwagon with her so I'll toss those over there these are mixed vegetables um, for another one of her recipes uh, these were 79 cents each the potato puffs or tater tots as we like to call them in our house 
I got two bags of these. These are like $1.69. Butter was $2.09, I want to say. I got two packages of those. Cream cheese was $0.69. Cents. Um, lunch meat was a little over $3, and that's for a full pound. Uh, these pepper jack slices I get for $1.79 for Charles's lunch. Here's those pie crusts I was talking about. So graham cracker pie crust, I got three at 95 cents each. Uh, celery was a dollar thirty something. These were two dollars. These were 69 cents. Those onions, bananas are only, always 25 cents a pound, and we got some green grapes for 69 cents a pound. I got four avocados, 33 cents a pound. Zucchini was a dollar twenty. Okay, making our way around here. All of these cereals were about $1.30 on average. Um, so they got uh, Berry Kids Crunch, which is the same thing as Captain Crunch. We got Honey Bunches of Oats. And we got Cocoa Rice. Three things of apple juice for $1.09 each. Let's try and move everything out of my way here. Um, this is the same thing as Sprite to me for some reason. It just doesn't matter. Um, and a Coca-Cola, and those were 69 cents each. Marinara for, um, to go with those pepperoni slices. Uh, this was 88 cents. This is around a dollar for this uh, big chunky salsa stuff. We love that. $1.69 for the Alfredo pasta, the roasted garlic kind is our favorite. Two taco seasonings for Jay Morrell Stewart's Taco Bake. I think we have three of her casseroles we're, we'll be making this week. Um, let's see, all of these seasonings are like 98 cents. So we have onion powder, oregano, garlic powder, garlic salt, and crushed red pepper. Parmesan cheese around two dollars. Italian breadcrumbs were like a dollar eighty nine. We got four cans of tuna, even though I, I'm the only one that usually eats tuna, and I eat it on crackers. I don't like mayonnaise, so I don't normally put it on sandwiches. But um, Alora wanted to try it, and it was on sale for sixty nine cents each, which is a steal. All of let's see the two cans of corn. Um, four cans of cream of chicken. We have two cans of diced tomatoes and four cans of black beans. Those were all 45 cents. The mandarin oranges, I believe, were 70 cents. And these original chili with beans, I got four cans of these, and those were 88 cents. Do, 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 do. Bagels for $1.89. Two uh, 10 packs of the flour tortillas for 99 cents each. Honey wheat bread, this is 95 cents a loaf. All of these chips were, well, cheese puffs were 99 cents. These were $1.09 and $1.09. Um, sugar was $1.20, which is really high for where we're at. Usually I can get that for 95 cents. Um, so I'm going to stock up my pantry come the holiday times because all of this stuff, go, they bring the prices down. So uh, two bags of the brown sugar. And these were 95 cents. A thing of oil. So a gallon of oil. Uh, my last one lasted two to three weeks, I think. So this was a little over $4. We have yellow cake mix, that was 75 cents. Funfetti, that was a dollar. Two things of brownie mix, that was, they were 85 cents each. Uh, we've got a vanilla frosting, and somewhere we have a chocolate frosting. I don't know where it went or who has it. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody had it. Um, but the vanilla and the chocolate frosting were a dollar thirty each, I think. So, and all of the crackers and stuff are usually about a dollar thirty. So these were like a dollar thirty-five. These are usually a dollar 
between a dollar thirty and a dollar forty. So I got apple and mixed berry. These are delicious crackers, and sometimes I use them if I don't have breadcrumbs. I use them to go like as my breadcrumbs for my meatloaf, or if we're making cheeseburgers or something, we use these for everything. They're delicious. But these are a dollar thirty-eight. Uh, these were a dollar twelve, I believe. These were ninety-eight cents. These were ninety-eight cents. Swiss rolls. These are for a lemon pie that I wanted to make today, but the kids ate the vanilla wafer, so I didn't have um, the vanilla wafers to make the pie the way my husband's grandmother makes made it when she was alive. So I've worked really hard to perfect my lemon pie with the vanilla wafer crust. It's actually called a lemon icebox pie, but I make that for him on occasion. And then we got four box of rotini. So two of these will be for Alfredo pasta and then two of these will go for the pizza casserole for the Jay Morrell Stewart's recipe. Oh, and our last item here is a 10 pound bag of potatoes. And these are were like $3.12. Okay, you guys, well we finished with our hair up and this is $45 from Costco and $178 from Aldi. It'll get us through the end of next week. So today is Wednesday. It'll get us through all the way till next Friday as far as planned meals. And I have room for plenty of extra. So thank you for watching. Please hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. If you didn't, go ahead and thumbs down. It helps me out either way. Subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when my next videos are being posted. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.